It never gets old. May 23rd, 1991, some 33 years ago. Let's go to the Tom's River Volkswagen Sports Hotline and welcome in our good friend, former Philadelphia Phillies pitcher, Tommy Green. Tommy, it never gets old. Uh, i tell you what, I feel <laughs> older now, Billy. <laughs> Tommy. 33 years, a long time. 33 years ago. Can you, can you, that seemed like yesterday. Yeah, this is a, a lot of it makes you feel like yesterday, but hey, man, I, I, I feel the years. <laughs> so I said to the guys, I said, let's cue it up again. I know we did this for Tommy at the beginning of the year, but I said, I, I, I to me, I, I can listen to it over and over and over. I know you don't ever hear it, but I'll, probably only when you hear it when I play it. Uh, but <laughs> I can hear it because it's Harry, it's you. Yes. You know what I mean? It's Harry, it's you. It's it's a memory that you've given us, Philadelphia Phillies fans, that will last forever. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I mean, it was a special day. And to hear, to, it makes you feel younger because you hear Harry. Yeah, yeah. And to me, that's why it means a lot to me. I mean, you get to hear Harry call that and and uh, and what it meant. You know, our conversations after that, to mine, mine and Harry's, it was, it was always, you know, I remember that forever. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, well, I'll <laughs> hey, tell you what, Tommy. Get, the older I get, I hope I don't forget it. <laughs> so, Tommy, I mean, this this ninety this this team that were this Philly team now, the two two thousand twenty four yeah. edition. I mean, you guys in ninety three got off to a phenomenal start. The difference between you guys in ninety three and this team is like we expected this team to be, or yeah. we, we expected this more out of this team. You guys came out of nowhere. Yeah, and that's I guess that's what made it exciting. I mean, real exciting for us. You know, I mean, everybody's expecting these guys to do what they're doing, which is which is a hard thing to do, man. <laughs> right. I mean, they're expecting that. They need to make sure they give them plenty of love because what they're doing is unbelievable. Um, but, uh, I mean, for us to, you know, it's kind of like coming from nowhere. I mean, we, we, had the same, we had a lot of the same guys there for a few years, you know, and finally it got everything come together for his health and, 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 and piecing things together and playing up their ability kind of come to a head. You know, the big thing was the health. Everybody got healthy, you know, and uh, and we and we chimed in. So your pitches, Dave, Tommy, you, it was you, Kurt Schilling, it was uh, J- Danny Jackson. Uh, yeah. Who else? Terry Mulholland. Terry Mulholland. And Ben Revere. Yeah, and, and Revere. no offense to you guys, but if I were to look at the pitching staffs now, I mean, the only question mark really is the Phillies right now is their fifth starter. You guys going into – I mean, in 92 – you guys were what finished last place. I mean, you guys were bad. <laughs> yeah, we were beat up. Too. You were beat up, but still, I mean, you were bad. You guys, so I because I gave up my tickets in '93. I'll never forget. You guys went down to Houston. You 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 opened up two series on the road, and you came back to Philadelphia. I think like six and one or something, something like that. Yeah. And then I re up yeah. my tickets. <laughs> <laughs> No, so you were front running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tommy, I had my no because my family had our season tickets since 1983. So after the '83 World Series, I mean, there's some lean years from '80 80, '84 to to '92. Yeah. You guys, I mean, the Philadelphia yeah, were. Phillies were god awful. Well, I mean, it, 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 the the ability was there, yeah, Bill. If you look back at it, the end of '91, you know, '91 uh, year was. You know, the first half was abysmal, but we were the best team in the National League the second half. If you look at the record and stuff like that, we played good baseball the second. So the ability was there, and then 92 started started out, and there were some injuries and stuff. People got hurt, and, you know, I mean, when you start losing key cogs, man, and, yeah. and, and, I mean, it's, it's a huge thing, huge blow. So Every, uh, that's, so- what's so ama- that's what's so amazing about this team. They've had people – the, the the injuries we had, especially the tray, yeah. and the injuries we've had, people have stepped in and, and done the job, you know, and, and stepped up. So that's a huge thing. Every Sunday we go on the mound with former Phillies pitcher Tommy Green, brought to you by Blitz's Market in Ocean City. Tommy, I mean, this pitching staff, like I like I said, Nola Wheeler, Suarez, Sanchez. I mean, he, he's two and three with a. With a three one three point one five very respectable ERA, and then Taiwan yeah. Walker. I mean, he, I mean, he's 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 three and zero, but his ERA is a little elevated. But other than that, I mean, it's, this pitching staff is is pitching uh, better than I we could have expected and hoped for. Well, I and mean, you can't you can't ask for anything more, man. And what they're doing, we're basically, you know, 
uh, basically leading the league, you know, as far as that's concerned. Um, you know, which is which is a great. Well, you can't ask for anything if you got pitching defense. You're giving your chance. Your offense don't have to do as much, you know, uh, to score. And but the thing about this team right now, we're basically doing everything. We're hitting. We're yeah, we're hitting. Yeah. We're we're pitching. And 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 that's why we're where we're at. So if you do put it all together, you go on runs like this. You know what I mean? But it's great to see the pitching. You know. Uh, doing what they do, you know, and so which is a great thing, you know. So I mean, I'm I'm looking at numbers now, you know. I mean, you look at the the team uh, the team pitching and stuff for the year. We're second in baseball with a uh, with a three one one ERA just yeah. behind the Yankees. You know, the Yankees are leading it, right. which is you know, you know. But I mean, I mean, we're right there, you know, leading baseball. And, and I mean, and week after week, it's been sort of. Uh, the the same thing. We've been right up there. You know, I do. I look at the numbers like the last seven days and stuff like that. Uh, and, it, it, and and it's sort of the same thing. We're like last seven days. We're you know pitching and we're like sixth in baseball with a two five. You know, sure you're not giving up two and a half runs a game. And look how many we're scoring. You know, when we're scoring. We scored forty what forty two runs this week, yeah. you know, in six games. So we're averaging seven runs a game, you know, so to speak. Yeah, you know, we had a we had a game we scored ten, but you know, but overall, I mean, it's sort of stupid numbers. You know? <laughs> it is. You're, he's reeling off these numbers. I'm starting to laugh. It's, just like, it's unbelievable. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Tommy, Nick here. Uh, Ranger Suarez on the bump today for the Phillies. Um, he's been yeah. unbelievable. He Speaking of stupid numbers, yeah. he's putting up stupid he's numbers. He's the 10th win I, today. I know. Yeah. It's May 26th. I mean, uh, Tommy, yeah. do you think Ranger, like, are you surprised for what he's been able to do to start off the season? And do you think it continue could continue on throughout the rest of the year? Well, I, I mean, just looking at him in the past, you know, doing what he's doing is extraordinary. You know, I mean, to have that type of ERA and, and – and the wheeling it off time after time after time, and the type of command he's showing all the time is very, very, very impressive. You know, it's I mean, it's something that's very hard to do. Now you go through you go through th- times like that where you get uh, you get locked in like that, and you know, I, I think I don't know back in back in '93, I think I started out my first 12 starts. I was like, what eight no with a one seven, you know. Yeah. Or something like that for a while. I mean, it's you go through those roles. You know, you have some games where you, I mean, you get locked in, man, and it roll. You're rolling, and uh, uh, and it's just so impressive to see that, and it's uh, to see that type of thing. And it's you know, it's it's contagious too, a little bit with the other pitchers, you know, because they're challenging themselves to be better. They're seeing what he's doing. You know, on their days off, and they get to watch him pitch and go about his business. And that's one thing about being a starting pitcher in the big leagues. I've got my game; I pitch one day, and then the other four, I get to watch the best right. of the business do what they do. Right. You know, and you you learn from the people you pay attention. You learn some things. You know, you pick up on some things that help. I think Sanchez is, I think, is in a prime spot. You know, to be able to watch uh, Ranger. Uh, and learn from him because he's a cool customer. His demeanor, a lot of them, and he sort of pitches that way too yeah. himself yeah. now. You know, if you watch it, I mean, it's a you learn by the people you're around with, and what a better person that's probably the best pitcher in baseball right now going through it. You know, what the streak he's on is probably pitching the best is Ranger. You know, you get yeah. to learn a lot of things from him. Well, Tommy, I, I got to ask this too because we're in a we're in an era now of baseball where it's all about flamethrower, it's all about velocity, right? For Ranger to do yeah. this. In this type of era, I mean, what does that say about baseball where it's at right now? Well, I tell you, it's refreshing, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it is. he's pitching, about, not throwing. It's about, no. it's about it's about getting people out, and that's what he's doing. And I mean, he ends up striking out guys, you know. Yeah. I mean, but that's because he makes pitches, he's, and, and 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 his stuff plays up because he he's hitting with just uh, with more than just one pitch. He's got a, a repertoire. It's like Leo Mazzoni used to tell me back when I was a Braves. I was coming up. He says, you're challenging hitters. That don't mean throw your fastball every pitch. You're challenging hitters with your assortment of pitches right. in different locations and stuff like that. So that's what Ranger does, you know. He cuts it. He sinks it. He changes speeds. He, you know, he's got the breaking balls. And, and I mean, and, and, he, and for the most part, he stays out of the middle of the plate, which, uh, you know, that's all about your misses, you know. So if, if he does give up a run, which is it seems like knock on wood very, very <laughs> seldom – 
you know. Uh, it's, he'll probably tell you, hey, I made a mistake, and, and, and that's the way it happens. That's why hitters get paid what they do, yeah. they hit the mistakes. Yeah. But he's so good at what he does right now. He's been so consistent and in that groove of, of you know, locating his pitches. And we've talked about it in the past, Billy, is why, do, why are pitchers in AAA, why are pitchers in the big league, and what separates those guys and what separates the guys from the big leagues into the elite pitchers that are pitching well is the consistency right. of what yeah. they do, you know, the, and their repertoire of pitches, you know, and they're able to change speeds and locate them all. So, Yeah. Good morning, Tommy Andrew here. So uh, there's been some chatter online, mostly from the Braves and the Mets fans of the world that are complaining that, oh, the Phillies are not they're not playing great teams. You know, they haven't played. They yeah, only that's have a five a, I hate record, that argument. 500 teams. And I was wondering, as a former player, do you, do you take any stock into that? I mean, when you're in the locker room, do you care about who you're beating or do you just, you know, you got to go out no. there and beat who's ahead of you? No, because anybody with a bat in hand can beat you. And they, <laughs> yeah. there, there are clubs out there, there are clubs out there, you know, that are, per, are pretty good ball clubs that are not necessarily playing up their ability. Everybody was talking about St. Louis and, and, and San Francisco, and they're two hottest teams in baseball right now, yeah. along with us. You know, they're playing good baseball. In the last 10 ball games, they're all 8-2. and two. You know, they're playing just as good as anybody. So you can look at records as one thing, but anybody with a bat in your hand, you can beat them. And the people who are complaining about that, you know, are behind us. You know, they're not yeah. in first place. They're envious. Well, I gotta you know, tell you, I gotta tell you, so, Tommy. You, you know, the, the Giants are hot, but they, they, they got they're finished. They finish up against the Mets in New York, and then they got to travel all the way back to the back home to the West Coast. We're yeah. already out there, so hopefully yeah. our team's well, well west, well rested, and uh, been able to take on these uh, Giants in the next series. Of course, Ranger Suarez goes today, and he's going for his tenth yeah. win. <laughs> Very impressive. All right, Tommy, it's Memorial Weekend. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's Memorial Weekend, and we uh, we're honoring those who paid the ultimate sacrifice, uh, yes. keep this country free, so you can play baseball, so we can talk about you guys. Uh, but we're we're, we're we got uh, we're doing a, a text question today, and the question is, all what right. are your f- top five war movies of all time? And we're Dr. Dominic Mariani from Pensac and Spine and Rehab has given us uh, a pair of tickets. On the 30th of June to give away, Section 132, 609 403 is the text board message or text board number for a pair of tickets. What's your favorite war movie of all time? Oh, my God. You got me <laughs> that out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm thinking back. My dad was a big John Wayne fan in some of the movies. He, yeah. He, I mean, obviously, we watched the, the westerns and stuff like that. But the Longest Day? The- yeah, yeah. I mean that. I mean the Green Berets and yeah. I mean uh, in harm's uh, way stuff like that is great. <laughs> and you know, obviously, you're talking about you know the more modern stuff. Uh, uh, you know, for the family sort of to watch because there's a love story in it. It's like Pearl Harbor with yeah. Black and yeah, stuff like that. I think I mean, he's got that one. The big spectacles, you know, and then obviously Platoon. Yeah, you know, uh, right. that's one of my favorites. I have to say with Charlie with Charlie Sheen and and all the guys in there, Wim Defoe and. Uh, that, that's a pretty good one. Well, Tommy, we, we appreciate you. Of course, we're remembering 33 years ago on May uh, 23rd, 1991, you threw your no-hitter. It's something we'll never forget. We always appreciate you having you on every Sunday to talk about our fight and fills. Enjoy the rest yeah. of your Memorial Weekend. Tell Wendy we said hello, and we'll talk to you next week. You got it, my friend. All right, there he is, former Phillies pitcher Tommy Green. Every Sunday we go on the mound with former Phillies pitcher Tommy Green, sponsored by Blitz's Market in Ocean City, located at 21st and Asbury Avenue in Ocean City. Try their famous breakfast sandwiches, hoagies, gourmet burgers, and vegetarian options. Online ordering is available at blitzesmarkets.com or give them a call at 609-399-9983. Start your day off with Blitz's freshly squeezed orange juice. Mention the locker room and get a dollar off their 12 ounces of liquid sunshine. That's Blitz's Markets, 21st and Asbury Avenue in Ocean City. Go down there and say hello to Dave, Joan, Teresa, Kathy, Mackenzie, Claire. They're all working down there. 
Get down to Blitz's and tell them we said hi. All right, the first hour of the locker room is powered by Surety Title. Surety provides comprehensive title insurance protection and professional settlement services for home buyers and sellers, real estate agents, brokers, lenders, home builders, developers, and attorneys to facilitate your real estate purchases. From the shore to Center City and every place in between, Surety Title is there for you with 15 office locations in New Jersey and PA. That's Surety Title. For more information, call my good friend Ron Conklin at 856-988-8900 or give the Ocean City office a call at 609-399-1227. Now, just about everybody in our area has heard about the Jersey Man and Philly Man magazine that is run by ex-Philadelphia tight end Ken Dunnick. But were you aware of their private business network they call the Legacy Club? Every month they hold private events at upscale locations in Philadelphia and South Jersey that attract over 200 top business people. If you have an interest in attending one of these events and see it's a fit for your business, send an email to ken at jerseymanmagazine.com or give them a call at 856-912-4007 for more information. All right, when we return, we'll wrap up hour number one. You're listening to The Locker Room with Billy Schwime and my locker room youth movement. Producer Nikki Earnshaw and the intern Andrew Leeds right here on 97.3 ESPN.